Acres of Clay Homestead is a popular YouTube channel with over 58k subscribers, and as you can guess from the name, it's related to homesteading and farming. Rhonda, the person behind the channel shares about her life and things related to her farm, which is enjoyed by tens of thousands of viewers. Alongside Rhonda, her husband Kevin also often appears in the videos, and they together operate a dairy farm in Michigan. They have quite an interesting story about how they met and got married. Rhonda grew up on the dairy farm, and her life revolved around milking cows alongside her family. It was the same case for her husband, Kevin. He too was raised on a dairy farm, until his father sold the herd when he was 10. After that, Kevin joined Rhonda's family during the 11th grade, and spent several years milking cows for Rhonda's dad, before embarking on his own farming journey. Starting with raising heifer calves, Kevin eventually realized his dream of starting his own dairy farm, and purchased a piece of land across the road from his father, establishing the Acres of Clay in 1996. Their love story began in 1997, when they started dating, at the time Rhonda was 17 years old and Kevin 22 years old. A year later, on November 7, 1998, they exchanged vows and got married. Over the years, Rhonda and Kevin's family grew to include four children, three sons, Ethan, Sanders, and Sydney, and a daughter, Mackenzie. The next generation of the dairy farming legacy was being shaped, and each child played a unique role in the family's endeavors. Amidst the joys and challenges of farm life, they also experienced significant milestones and heartwarming moments. In September 2022, Ethan married Abby, marking a new chapter in their family's story. But, Abby was already introduced to their YouTube community on June 30, 2022, in a video titled, Everyone, Meet Abby, allowing viewers to share in the excitement surrounding their union. While the family celebrated milestones, they also faced moments of loss. On June 22, 2021, they bid farewell to their beloved dog, Chloe, who had been a cherished companion throughout the years. However, Amidst the trials, they also found resilience. They made a meaningful decision on December 22, 2021, to adopt a purebred, Great Mountain Peary's puppy named Dakota. The arrival of Dakota brought joy and warmth to the family. Tragically, Dakota was later hit by a car, leaving the family devastated. They shared this heartbreaking news with their viewers on February 12, 2022. Thankfully, in a subsequent video on February 18, 2022, they provided an update, sharing the hopeful news of Dakota's recovery and the care they were providing. There was also another instance where the family suffered another grief. On September 1, 2021, they uploaded a video titled, Tragedy Hits Our Family, where they opened up about the hardships they were facing, although Rhonda didn't specifically mention what they were going through. She just wanted to reach out to their viewers, seeking support and prayers during this challenging period. The genuine vulnerability they displayed touched the hearts of their community, showcasing the strong bond they share with their audience. Fortunately, around two months later, she released another video titled, Life Update, where she gave a general update and said that whatever the situation was, was getting better. Sadly, the challenges continued to unfold as they received heartbreaking news. On December 28, 2021, Kevin's beloved mother peacefully passed away, entering eternal rest. She was 81 years old, and her presence in their lives had been a blessing beyond measure. Kevin's mother was not only a cherished mother-in-law, but also a woman of remarkable humility and grace. Moving on, as for the net worth, we believe it to be around $100,000. Now, you might think it's relatively low for a business owner, but you have to consider the expenses for maintenance and family as well. However, the family does have other sources of income, not just business, one of which is the obvious YouTube revenue. Another income source is from the merchandise sales, which they have set up on Etsy. And that's it for the video. What are your thoughts on the Acres of Clay Homestead? Do you like Rhonda and her family? Do comment on what your thoughts are. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel if you like the video and stay tuned for more.